dress code dilemma in Seminole County. Some students say that dress code is sexist. Fox 35's Jessica Ely explains why some girls say it's just not fair. Haggerty High School senior Julia Squatiri is pushing for change in the Seminole County School District. She says some of the current dress code policies unfairly target female students. But I don't think that feminine students should have to think about their bodies while they're trying to learn because at the end of the day, all students are coming in to learn. Things like halter tops, spaghetti straps, and tank tops, clothing you find in the girls' section when shopping are considered dress code violations. Consequences for infractions include verbal warnings and in-school suspensions, according to the district's code of conduct guide. It's almost this kind of shock feeling at first. You're feel really uncomfortable. That's the word. I We collected testimonies from 40, 50 students in Seminole County, and that was a word that kept popping up over and over. Squatiri is part of the district's dress code committee and is also the founder of the Ruth Project, which fights for gender equality. So far, she's already helped get the word cleavage removed from the district's dress code guide. Now she's lobbying for more revisions. What happens when it's enforced then is those students, the, the feminine students, they're going to miss class time that while their male peers sit in class and continue learning and that in itself is just plain inequity. We reached out to the Seminole County School District but have not received a response about this issue. In Seminole County, Jessica Ely, Fox 35 News.